Welcome to an introduction to the cloud service video. Step 2. Adding an iBoot G2 Series device to your account. The Dataprobe iBoot G2 Series of remote power control devices can connect with our cloud server, allowing you to control power without having to do any extra setup to your local network. The iBoot G2 Series devices communicate with our cloud, then you log on to your account on our cloud and control power. My name is Sam and this video will demonstrate how to add an iBoot G2 Series device to your cloud account. If you do not have an account on our cloud server, please create one as demonstrated in the Step 1 video. This video assumes your iBoot is already on your network with internet access. The Quick Start Guide and other setup videos can help with this if that is not the case. Let's access my unit locally and confirm the setup. While I always recommend having the latest code, your iBoot will need to be a minimum of 1.21.99 to have cloud access. I know that my unit is version 1.52.238 and has cloud support. Using the Data Probe Management Utility, the DMU, I can discover my iBoot locally at 192.168.3.109. I open my browser to the IP address and enter the username and password. Navigate to the Setup, then Network. I can confirm my unit has internet access because the network settings are correct for my local network. In fact, since my iBoot is using DHCP, after setting my unit to the cloud, I will be able to connect my unit to any network with DHCP and it will reappear in my cloud account. If, for example, I want to ship it to a customer for them to install. After confirming the internet access, navigate to the Advanced Network Settings. Check the box next to Enable the Cloud Services and click Save. The iBoot will now register with the cloud server and retrieve an activation code. The unit will display the message, Registering with cloud server, please wait, until it obtains the code. Then it will display the 8-digit code. At this point, you can click on the code and it will take you to the cloud login page. Log in with your cloud access credentials and this will associate the device to your account and you can now control power as expected. As an alternate method, you can enter the code to your cloud account using the Add Device from the cloud settings. Copy the code down on paper or to the clipboard of the PC with copy. Open a browser or create a new tab and navigate to iBoot.co. Notice this is not a .com but a .co address. Enter your username and password, then navigate to Add Device. Enter the code as saved or copied down from the iBoot Advanced Network page. This will also associate the device to your account and you can control the power as expected. Repeat the process for as many iBoot G2 devices as you have and or assign iBoot PDU class devices to the same account as demonstrated in the Step 3 video. Cloud features and control options are demonstrated in the introduction video Step 4. Thank you for your interest in the Data Probe Cloud Service.